Hello everyone I read you a true story what happened to that girl in Afghanistan on the day in March 19 2015 Kabul Afghanistan her name is Farhunda Malikzada she was 27 years old from a middle class family in Afghanistan she completed her degree and was trying to become a teacher she was going grand visiting class daily and while she was returning from the class she saw a mosque where she usually pray so she went and prayed in the mosque and left to her house and when she was going outside the mosque she saw a person selling religion related things like rings dollars and an amulet his name is zainuddin he was selling lucky amulets to her but she said without following islam for name shak she follows each and every rule in islam strictly so she told him that he is strong to sell this amulet and it against islam and asked him to become angry and both of them got into an argument she said him that if he did not stop selling it i will complain him to the mosque guru and in a fear that she might shut his business down and before the problem turns towards his side he decided to turn towards a farhunda and suddenly while speaking he started screaming why did you burn the quran hearing this farhunda was looking at him in surprise without knowing what he was saying but again and again he started asking why she did burn the quran now the crowd started gathering around them and they asked what happened what was the problem for that the person took some old burnt papers from his pocket and kept it inside the new quran book and said to the people that she burnt the holy quran and showed them the old burned papers and most importantly she is an american lady she is not a muslim and she is acting like a muslim that why she burnt the quran like the turned the people against farhunda and they started scolding farhunda in bird words now farhunda told them i am a muslim so how would i burn your quran and try to say that he is lying and not to listen him but zainuddin who decided not to allow farhunda to speak and he said that she burned the quran and don't let her get away a person from the crowd started beating her saying she burned the quran and lying about it now immediately all the people started attacking farhunda recklessly 150 men around her and throw out her body like just head and stomach at the same time the police came to the spot and tried to take farhunda to a safe place nearby but they grabbed farhunda and dragged her to the reed and tore her hijab and screamed to beat her to death immediately the monster started beating her again some kind police officer took her to the roof of a building and made her lie down the people started throwing stones sticks and everything on farhunda she again fell down from the roof and when she fell down those monsters started kicking her till the anger now then now one of them drove the car fastly and drove on the farhunda in their body struck in the car and up to the 300 meter it dragged her and a boy who was in the age of 11th standard student a big rock to the put into the farhunda space and smashed it farhunda's life who does not want to live among the monsters left her body they try to lead fire in farhunda's body but her body did not burn do you know what is the reason because her dress was completely wet from her blood and remove the dresses and throw it over her body and lit the fire now her body started to burn and after the crowd left the police reviewed for hunda's body and informed her family this news started spreading out now some politicians were justifying the incident happened to her hunda but in the next two days for hunda's did not do anything mistake and in investigation it came to know that she did not burn the quran hearing there they will some good hard people in the world right everyone started becoming angry to get justice for farhunda they got on the road and started to protest and decided that no men should touch the body of farhunda 
for Gunda's final ritual was completely done by women. On the other side, people started protesting to get justice for Farunda and now without being able to handle the pressure the government formed a team and asked to arrest the people immediately who were responsible for Farunda's death. But the problem is on what the basis they should arrest the people and how they should book the case because they did not know the clear details of the people who attacked her and even though they arrested her and what time she died and who is responsible for her death we uh, can't say that for sure so they did not know who to blame police arrested more than 50 people and the case was registered over 49 people and among the 49 90 of them were police officers who refused to save for hunda now the case come to trial and the judge who investigated the case raised the eight police officers saying that they were innocent and for neglecting the duty the rest 11 police were given one year imprisonment and among the 30 people they released the 18 people due to insufficient evidence and among the rest 12 eight of them got 16 years of imprisonment and four of them got death sentence and in the accused they one started in Zainuddin and the person who drove the car on Farkunda and the boy who threw the rock on Farkunda. So this was happened at Farkunda Malikzada.